Welcome back everyone, Broadbent here. Today we're back in Standard Deep on day 88 of our survival. So, last episode, we migrated over here. As you can see, you've got a few crates rendering in now. Uh, I moved all of my loot, literally all of it, over here uh, to the new island, the archipelago. Now, today, we're going to start working on bridging some of this stuff here. So, like, there's a lot of work to be done on this island. And I want to start laying in, quite literally, the foundations of our base right now. Um, actually, no, sorry, not the base, just the sort of... Like the bridges and things like that. Like right here, I need a way to get across very easily. Um, so that's going to be the project for today. And damn, this transparency. So I want to get established quickly. I want to get a few more. If I, I think that should be all right. Um, I think food's quite an important one right now. I don't think I have a smoker built. I just remembered that I lost a gyrocopter and I lost the raft last episode. Now, I mentioned that I was going to go back and check it out and try and go and rescue the raft. However... That is not the case. I cannot go and get that raft now. It is completely gone. Like, it is 100% gone. I cannot get that back, which is, I think, very disappointing. I think the developers should definitely work on that. The raft shouldn't disappear unless they go out of the, like, the map, if that makes sense. So I'm just setting up a smoker now. Make sure it's facing the right way. There we go. Nice. Now, I'm thinking if I should go and do some hunting very quickly, early on in the episode. Um, let me just check how much food I've got around here. Well, it turns out I've actually got a decent amount of food and water, so I'm not going to be doing that right now. Um, so, what we're going to be doing in today's episode is heading over to Resource Island, which is going to be part number one. And we're going to be gathering loads of planks and bringing those back over. Why did I say that so weirdly? And I did not mean to do that. And as soon as we get back with all the planks, I'm going to be making all those bridges that I was talking about earlier. So I'm going to quickly make a lap of the island, breaking all of the uh, fibrous leaves and young palm trees. I think, yep, palm trees. Just so when I get back, hopefully this should all be regrown. Alright, so I've been over here through the night, chopping down all of these trees. Well, I think I've probably got a quarter of the entire island done overnight. Nothing nothing crazy, uh, just, just enough probably to get what we need to get done today, and I'm thinking that I also want to do a clay run later on in the episode. I want to make sure that I've got enough to start working on my base at some point, and that went straight over, god damn, okay, <laughs> so let's turn all of these into planks. So I just laid down my hedge, that's all of the palm bunches that I got from all the trees there. So I'm going to turn all these into planks, this could take quite some time, I'll see when I've done that. Okay, well that didn't take too long at all. Now. I'm just sort of evaluating how many planks I've actually got. So let's take a look in this bottom crate. I've got three. Now you've got to take into account that each foundation is four planks. So realistically, this one crate could only be one bridge. So I'm going to proceed as if that's the ratio that I'm going to go by here. So one bridge, two bridge, three bridge, and we're basically going to have four bridges. Unless some are a little bit cheaper, but I don't think they will be, so you know what, I'm just going to roll with it, that should be enough. I also want to start loading up some of these palm bunches as well, because I'm going to need these for fires, now that we're on a new island. In case you're wondering how many trees I've chopped down, there you go, that's your number. And I just noticed that I've managed to miss a few trunks that have wiggled their way away from the plank station, so I'm going to sort of finish those off now. Nice. So there we are, we are completely topped up, got all of the palm bunches, a few coconuts, planks, and that's pretty much everything. So I'm going to take all of this back over to the home island and we can start construction. Now luckily, the home island is right there and resource island's very, very close, so this doesn't take too long at all. And I'm going to very quickly switch over to the motor here. So I know a lot of you were quite frustrated last episode that I didn't try to put the 3x3 on top of the arc. Now, I can tell you right now that would have been the exact same thing that happened with the gyrocopter and the dinghy. Trust me, it would have been the exact same situation. It just would have been a bigger boat. Alright, so where's my tools? I believe I've got the hammer here. Perfect. Yep, and I'm going to load myself up with the planks here. So the first bridge... Oof. You know, I kind of want to put it here, because I quite often just sort of get across to the other side by doing this and then jumping up onto the boat. I do that a lot. 
It's kind of like an unofficial route, but I really do do that a lot. I've also taken note that there's a lot of loot on this island that I haven't got yet. I know a lot of you are pointing out this crate here, but I just haven't got around to looting this island yet, so don't worry. That is definitely on the to-do list. Yeah, the first bridge is going to go right here. I'm also not going to make it really high, because then it'll require more planks, if anything. But I also kind of am hoping that I'll be able to jump on it from in the water. So the first one, like that. So this is looking like it's going to take five foundations. Like, I could probably leave it right here. Let me quickly finish this one off. I'm hoping that I don't need to place another foundation right here. And that I can just walk onto it smoothly. But let's see. I think I might just be able to. But for looks... Okay, so it's a little bit of a, a jump up if you notice that. So it does work, but I'm probably going to add in another foundation. Like, I like this one it ends so perfectly. So that's the first bridge. I'm not sure if I want to add in, and not add in like the, the sides, like a typical bridge. For now, it's just going to be sort of like a functional bridge like this. Can't believe that took four foundations. Crazy. Okay, so the next bridge, I'm going to head over here. You know, I kind of want one there too. And you're probably going to comment that's a waste because I've got one right there. Why would I need one here? Well, I don't care. <laughs> I want bridges all over this thing. Let's place as many as we can. Hey, you know what? I'm putting them here. <laughs> I need them. I always take this route, so this is definitely getting plopped down first. Now, the waves, I just realized, seem calmer over there. I think we're sort of more out to sea, because normally the islands are a lot smaller. And I'm going to start over here, actually. Just like that. There we go. Much nicer, so I can sort of just... I can demonstrate real quick. You know how a bridge works. Jump over here, and then I can go straight across without swimming. I probably just save myself four seconds every trip. Not bad. So, I'm out of planks. Let's get some more and continue our bridging. So right here, technically, I don't need one, but I think I'm going to add one just because it'll look better. You get me? That makes sense, right? Oh, I need water. I mean, most of this stuff I don't need, you know? <laughs> Let's just add one down. Hopefully this only costs two foundations. There we go. That works perfectly. Both ways. Perfect. So seeing as I've only got enough for two more foundations, that's so annoying. I think I'm going to add one right here. Um, unless over there. Like, I don't need one here. I don't need one there. But I'm adding them just because they look really good. Uh, so. Hmm. Although, I could do with one maybe here. Oh, so many bridges. Okay, I think after after looking, I definitely need one here of all places. Look at that. I don't want to have to swim across that all the time, you know? Like, I kind of want to have it raised at the same time as high as possible. And that bridge is nowhere near done. I need to get some more planks. <laughs> Completely run out. So I'm starting to run out of food, as you can see here. I only got two larger meat left, and I really want to sort of get back on that grind. I want to make sure that I've got all the food I need, especially while I've got some. So my stats are looking pretty good now. I've got all the uh, <laughs> all the refined spears I have, and we're going to go and kill a few of the shark spawns around this island. I've noticed a lot of them, so I'm hoping to kill pretty much all of them. I want to have a stack of dead sharks and marlins. So we've got six bandages and 13 spears. That should be enough for now. This bridge is underwater. I did not place that tremendously well. So I'm going to head over to where I've seen the Great White at the very beginning while we were exploring this island. And we're going to go and try and hunt it down. Now, if I'm correct, this will be the first Great White kill that I've got ever. Unless you count the boss fight, which I'm not sure if you do. I don't see any right now. This is weird. We've got a wreck down there as well, so I would like to check that out. Okay, just got a wood crate. I'm not going to check it. Let's just plop that down on the bridge. What we're doing right now is definitely just hunting some sharks. Oh, I hear them. I think they're marlins. Yep, there they are. I don't get leather from those. I'd like to get some leather. But I also want the large meat, so... Oh my god, I hear a lot of them. Maybe two? Maybe three? Ooh. Oh, they're swimming really fast, and they're faced away from the island. So I'm really worried that if I throw my spear, I'm just going to lose it in the abyss. Hmm. What do I do? There's only one option. 
Face the other way. There's only one. Wait, are you trying to attack me? I think he's trying to attack me. <laughs> it is. I don't think it's going to get me, though. Maybe it isn't. I can't tell. Okay, one more. Nice. <gasps> no! I need you, don't don't sink. It's very important to pick up your spears from the fish or whatever you get before you harvest it because you will lose your spears. A little bit of a pro tip there. If I remember correctly, over on the west of the island over here, there should be two marlins grouped together. I think so anyway, let's find out. Yes. Somewhere here. I know there is. I forgot to say, so far, I'm disappointed with the amount of sharks that I've seen. Well, in today's episode at least. I'm not talking about the whole island. As a whole, it does have quite a few. There's not spawning right now for some reason. So I decided to try a quick reload of the game. And hopefully, that has worked wonders. Let's find out. Oh, by the way, I have an idea to make this bridge possible. Now, if I can place foundations underwater, which I highly doubt I can, but if I can, then I can place foundations, two walls, and then I can place a floor, and that floor will essentially be the bridge. Does that make sense? So I'm building the bridge up from further down. Okay, so overnight, I've pretty much been swimming all around the island, trying to trigger a shark spawn, and it's just not happening. I really don't know what's going on with... Oh, God. Uh, custom islands at the moment, like, the devs have been trying to fix shark spawns. I just don't know what's going on, because, like, when I set up the island, when I moved everything over here, there were sharks. There was a tiger shark, there was, like, five marlins, and a few just normal tiger sharks, but now there's nothing. And it maybe it's after I built on an island and saved, something goes wrong, I don't know. Like, I want to keep going around the island, like I am, but the only thing I'm worried about is getting poisoned, because PP is currently very, uh, very rare at the moment. So I've decided to make a few of these farming plots right here. Nothing too fancy, um, but it should be enough to get some PP on the go. So we're going to go with one right here. Oh my god, <laughs> that looks disgusting. And one more. Can I get it on? Please let me. And one more right there. Oh my god. They look uh, disgusting. I'm not sure what the benefit is of making the other ones. I'm pretty sure they last longer, but I think they're broken right now. So no matter what, they all do the same job. Okay, not that much left, actually. Definitely need to plant some of these. Oh, I think they can hold more water. Uh-oh, that means I can't leave these for that long. If these can only hold four... But, oh, they can. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Oh, no, what do I do? I guess I just can't leave these for that long at all. I probably shouldn't have done that. Well, we did manage to kill one Marlin. I, I'm just really annoyed that they aren't spawning. Maybe they're just on a timer. Maybe we have to wait in a, a little bit until they come back. But it's like all of them all over. So I really don't know. Um, but unfortunately, guys, I do have to round today's video up here. I know this was a little bit of a mishmash episode, doing loads of little bits on loads of different projects. Um, like, you know, getting all the wood. Then we built the bridges, did a little bit of fishing. I will work on that for maybe the next episode. We're going to be doing something solid, um, all one project, but man, do I want some sharks right now. Like, I'll just let them take a bite out of me. I wonder if I was bleeding in the ocean, I wonder if that would attract them faster. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to press the like button, and if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to catch future videos just like this one. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next video.